So the big question is, what will it take, uh, or is it even possible to pass immigration reform? Here to discuss, and Jason Chaffetz, he's a former Utah congressman, former House Oversight Chairman, and currently Fox News contributor. Uh, Jason, James, thanks for joining us. Thank um, you. you know, right now I'm saying pox on both uh, political parties. Uh, this is an extraordinarily important issue. Uh, it's galvanized the nation in many different ways. Uh, I thought until the last couple of weeks it was a winning issue for Republicans, particularly when you talk about the weak borders, MS-13, the drug crisis, and obviously the idea of a nation having sovereignty and controlling its own borders. I think they may be losing their grip on this, and it feels like tomorrow with this Paul Ryan compromise bill, this could be their last chance to step up to the plate and do something. Can they do it? Well, immigration is a big issue is why, uh, why uh, Barack Obama was not liked on this issue, but by why Donald Trump became the president. Uh, I, eight and a half years in Congress, I actually sat on the subcommittee on immigration on the Judiciary Committee. I was frustrated because we never bring anything up for a vote. They need to take, instead of one big massive compromise bill or one big bill, there's always something for somebody to hate about it. Take individual issues and let Congress work its will. There will never be a veto level uh, of votes, a veto-proof level of votes. Donald Trump, at the end of the day, still has his veto pen, and if he doesn't like what comes out the other end. But I, I'm glad that we're actually voting on these things now, even though the bill was delayed one more day. Right. Uh, but I think, though, this feels like the moment of truth. We saw yeah. uh, President Trump having to, to, to take back his uh, fall back in a position that he was standing uh, uh, for. Uh, we saw the political damage. I don't think that goes away. Here are two tweets I saw late in the day. Mm -hmm. One from Matt Gates, uh, Representative Matt Gates. He says, I won't vote for tomorrow's immigration bill if it offers amnesty citizenship to millions in our country illegally. And if it does not include the far-reaching reforms that Americans want when they elected President Trump, I continue to oppose amnesty for illegal aliens. And then there's Scott Wong, who covers D.C., who says that some House conservatives want Donald Trump to clarify whether or not he thinks a compromised immigration bill tomorrow amounts to amnesty. And if he would tweet on it, maybe they would support it. If he can signal to maybe some of these folks that tomorrow's bill isn't amnesty, then maybe they'll get something done. Is that possible? Do you think President Trump will do that? I don't know, because uh, the, the, what's in the bill continues to fluctuate. Uh, the Republicans literally in the last 30 minutes just got out of another meeting trying to make a determination as to what, if any, amendment might be offered. There are a lot of people, myself was included, I didn't want amnesty. But at the same time, the problem is, in part, Democrats won't come to the table on anything. So if you give up amnesty, what do you get from the Democrats? Does that bring any votes? In this case, the answer is no. Well, we know what the, what defines amnesty because with President Trump offering uh, almost two million DACA uh, yeah. kids, for lack of a better word, right now, uh, a path to citizenship. Many people are even wondering what constitutes amnesty. Perhaps this is why many are waiting for the White House to let them know if this new bill, this bill tomorrow, is indeed uh, amnesty. And, and I know, having talked to members, uh, my former colleagues in the House. DACA, they believe, is a separate issue, and I think right, rightfully so, than dealing with those people. Remember, there are 600,000 people in the backlog on just those claiming asylum. So would it apply to them, too? And, and that, those sorts of clear, points of clarification, they're big issues. These well, are not a doubt, small President numbers. Trump would have to give his stamp of approval President for this bill Trump tomorrow could, to have any chance. President Trump would push a lot of people over the edge, particularly those conservatives that are big fans of the, of the president, like Matt Gates.